Introduction History of Japan is actually believed to be in record since Yamato clan, who was actually based in Kyoto, gained control over many of those number of families located in central and western Japan in late 400 AD. And also this was the time when Buddhism was being introduced at the place as Korea got interacted with Japan. Moving forward, then, in the 700s, Japan was at major level influenced by the lifestyle of China, which made Yamato clan to get that imperial court built, which was nothing different to that in China. Now, on the other side, if you look up for the history which tells about when did the human habitation actually be traced there, then what one can say is that it was the one you can call as prehistoric times. It was the German period that was actually named after its scored market pottery, which was followed and maintained by Yayoi at the time of 1st millennium BC, when continental Asia actually brought in light some new and great technologies. And then, in 1st century AD, a written reference to Japan was recorded in the script of Han. Moving along, in the time period of 4th century to 9th century, there was those many of the kingdoms and tribes related to Japan which got integrated under central government, which was mostly controlled and maintained by the emperor. In fact, this is the dynasty which is by now ruling over the Japan and its activities. And then, in 794, there was a new imperial capital discovered in Heian Kyo, which is now known by the name of Kyoto, and this discovery there kicked off a beginning to the Heian period that continued until 1185. This was the period which is considered as a golden age in the culture of Japan. If you look upon the religious life of Japan, the one thing which is meant to be noticed here is that religions there was always a mixture of Buddhism from the beginning to current time, also including those and other religious practices named as Shinto. As the time passed by, there was that great fall down in the power of emperor, which also led to the decline of imperial court that was built by the one and was then passed over to military and army of samurai warriors. Along with this, there were many of those occurrences in the place making history happen, including in which was the Minamoto plan that emerged out to be victorious in the Genpei War of 1180-85. Now, after having that power maintained, Yoritomo moved forward to set his capital up in Kamakura, from which it got the title of Shogun. In the year of 1274 and 1281, Kamakura Shogunate resisted two attacks from the side of Mongol, but then, moving forward to 1333, it was made to get collapsed by the opposing Kaimanato, the empire, leading whole of the power taken towards Muromachi period. During which, daimyos, also known as the regional commanders, grew up in power at the outflow of Shogun, and whole of this made Japan get inclined into the civil war. After this, in the 16th century, there was again that leadership maintained in Japan by Oda Nabunga and also its successor Toyotomi Hideyoshi. And then, as Hideyoshi died in 1598, Togukawa Ieyasu came forward in power and then was soon appointed as shogun by the ruler. During the Edo period, the whole of the Edo was governed by Tokuwaga Shogunate, which was ruling over Japan, and that time from 1600 to 1868, the whole of the time period is considered as the peaceful era. Now, being the Japan ruler, it made whole of the Japan get their connection cut off from any external world. So basically, Japan was at whole chucked off from outside world and people. In 1853-54, to 54, there was that occurrence of American Perry expedition which made whole of Japan's isolation get a break and also this thing made it possible to make Japan free from any kind of ruling by shogunate, which finally ended up to get under the emperor in 1868. Now this new leadership in Japan made this country from being isolated and undeveloped to the empire which was good in following all of those western models and thus made it get counted as world power.
With this enhancement in democracy and modern culture getting flourished up during the period of Taisho from 1912 to 26, Japan made up to the powerful military and leaders by the date of 1920s and 1930s. All of this army settled up in Japan, made their entrance in Manchuria in 1931, and then moving forward in 1937, it was the time when the war actually went through China. In 1941, Japan attacked over the Pearl Harbor, which led to the huge war with the United States and also its supporters. Force in Japan was only seen to get extended with time and which was the major reason to have that great population damage in many different countries with which Japan was actually getting fight into. On 14th of August 1945, Emperor Hirohito announced that absolute surrender of Japan that follows the case of Hiroshima and Nagasaki where the atomic bombs were invaded and also the Soviet invasion of Manchuria. Japan was also being employed by the Allies till the date of 1952, during which there was another constitution being introduced in 1947, which made Japan to get transformed into the constitutional kingdom. After all of this, in 1955, Japan finally got a chance to celebrate their highest economic growth, which made them to get the tag of world's economic powerhouse. But this happiness was not really there for so much long as since 1990, economic inactivity has been that major issue in Japan. Earthquake and tsunami in 2011 also caused that huge downfall in the economic growth there. Chapter 1 Japan, which was ancient and classical. Now, reading over the introduction, you must have got some idea on the outline of the history of Japan and which must have taught you on what Japan has been through from these whole of the past years. Now moving over, you are here going to know about that ancient Japan which has been through lots and lots of different periods and these are as follows. Paleolithic and Jamun period with time, there are many of those bridges which linked Japanese islands to that Asian continent which is at Korea, somewhere in southwest, and Sakhalin in the north direction. Looking over fourth net first trace of human habitation, it is believed that it was about 40,000 years ago when Japan was totally detached from the island. Around 32 to 38,000 years ago, axes were found in total of 224 sites in Honshu and Kyushu, which are believed to be very much different from whatever is found in the other areas of continental Asia in last some years of research, and thus is being considered as that first ever evidence of existence of humans in there. Also, According to the research, it is found that watercraft has really been used in that time of period. Along with that, there are also many of those skeletal remains found in Japan, like those of Minatogawa Man in Okinawa, and also the human skeletons in Ishigaki, which are found to be almost 16 to 20,000 years old. Talking about the Jamon period, this actually came into existence around 12,000 BC, which in some cases has been marked as 14,500 BC and lasted till 800 BC. Japan at this time was occupied by the culture which was nothing less than a hunter-gatherer who touched a significant mark of sedentism and traditional complexity. It was Edward S. Morse who discovered these remains of pottery in 1877 and thus named it as Cord Marked, which was afterwards decoded into Japanese as Jowon. Looking over the pottery style of that period, it has been said that it was adorned by amazing strings onto the surface of wet clay. Yayoi Period As the Jowon culture came to an end, there were those many of the new technologies and approaches of living which were being used by the people, and that spread it from northern Kyushu. This change was actually believed to be noticed around the date of 400 BC, though according to other evidences, it has been suggested that this may have happened around 500 years earlier, between the time period of 1000 and 800 BC. 
This period was actually named after the region in Tokyo, where a new, unadorned kind of pottery was exposed in 1884. There were many of those new discoveries in the field of agriculture, following hunting and foraging continued, being still a part of it. This modification could be seen in the form of those bronze and iron arms and tools which were brought in from different locations, including China and Korea, though they were later also manufactured in Japan. Along with this, in Yayoi period, there was also modification noticed in terms of knitting and silk manufacture, glass making, and some of those new techniques were introduced in the field of woodworking. These technologies of Yayoi actually came into existence on the Asian mainland. There were those many of the discussions which took place between academies looking over the range at which their spread was fulfilled by the mode of relocation or distribution of ideas, or maybe the mixture of both. This migration theory is maintained by many of those genetic and language studies. It is also believed that Japanese nowadays are hereditarily more similar to those Yayoi people rather than the German ones, and that too more of the number in southern Japan in comparison to that in north, and also, on the other hand, the Ainu bear resembled the German people, though there were also many of those German people in the northern Honshu which were with time displaced by Yayoi people. By the end of Hiyoi period, there was a huge rise in the population of Japan, which can be counted as a rise from 1.5 to 4.5 million. Skeletal remainings from both of these periods actually reveal about how there was a great improvement in Hiyoi period than that in German period, as during the German period there were those really poor standards in terms of health and nutrition and on the other hand, in the Yoi period, according to archaeological sites, were those large structures that are considered as that of grain storehouses. Also, the Yayoi communities at this time were merged into a number of kingdoms, which can be looked over by the earliest written work of history. The script of Han, which got finished in 82 AD, clearly indicates that Japan has actually been distributed into the number of 100 kingdoms. By 240 AD, there was that really powerful kingdom which gained dominance over many of those others as stated by Wei Ji, known by the name of Yamatai, though there are many of those modern historians who continue to look over for the location of same and other features of its representation in the Wei Ji. Also, along with that, it is believed that Yamatai was governed by some female ruler named as Himiko. Kofun period Moving over from Yoyoi period to the Kofun period, this was the time when most of the Japan got progressively combined under one single territory. New leaders really had that great rise in the power, and that could be noticed within the Kofun funeral hills, which were built up from around 250 onwards. Many, among which were of enormous scale, for example, Daisen Ryo Kofun, which is actually a burial made in the form of keyhole and is about 486 metres long. This took massive teams of labourers and the time period of 15 years to get completed at home. This period of Kofun was at most enclosed by and occupied with several Haniwa clay monuments, many among which were those in the form of warriors and horses. This combined state has Yamato as a central one in the area of Kinai, at central Japan, and the leaders in there were a genetic line of those who by now rule as the world's longest empire. These monarchs of Yamato also got their power stretched across Japan through army downfall, but the method that they preferred for development was to persuade local leaders to admit their authority in exchange for positions of effect in the government. Most of these influential local tribes who merged with the Yamato state later came to be known as the Uji. Asuka period Now, getting done with the ancient period, 
Here you are proceeding towards the classical Japan, where there were different periods which Japan has been through, and Asuka period here is among those many of the periods which initiated in 538 with the rise of the Buddhist religion from the Korean territory of Baekje. And that was the time from when Buddhism has coincided with Japan's inborn religion named as Shinto. This period got its name from the capital of Kinai region, named as Asuka. Moving over, it is believed that in the year of 587, the control in Japan was taken over by the Buddhist Soga tribe, which continued as that for approximately six long years. Also, it is said that from the year of 594 to 622, a promoter of Buddhism and Soga, Prince Shotoku, served as substitute and a real leader of Japan. This person also is known for writing of the 17-article constitution, a Confucian-inspired code of manner for executives and residents, and he tried to present a merit-based civil provision also known by the name of CAP and rank system. Then moving along, in 607 AD, Shotoku presented an indirect abuse to China by opening up the letter with the idiom reading, the sovereign of the land where the sun rises is sending this mail to the sovereign of the land where the sun sets, as described in the kanji fonts for Japan, which describes about the strength of Japan that originates with Japan, and then, on the other side, China obtains the fading sun. After this, in 645, the Soga fraternity was defeated in a revolution launched by Prince Naka, the creator of the Fujiwara fraternity. Their government planned and applied the influential Taika improvements. The modifications nationalized whole of the land in Japan to be spread correspondingly among cultivators and ordered the gathering of a household registry as the foundation for that brand new system for taxation. Nara period During the time of 710, there was one new capital constructed by the government at Heijokyo, which is now known by the name of Nara, demonstrated on Chang'an, also known as the capital of Chinese Tang Ru. During this period, there was also that arrival of two scripts noticed in Japan, among which one was named as the Kojiki, while the other one was Nihon Shoki, describing those histories of mythical accounts of Japan during ancient times, and also including the myth about its creation. Along with that, there was another script named as Man Joshu, which is believed to have that amazing collection of Japanese poetry that was noticed by the second half of the 8th century. Also, this was the period when Japan got to suffer really too much, including those a sequence of natural disasters, comprising wildfires, droughts, famines, and also the outbursts of many of the diseases, such as smallpox, which was the major reason behind the destruction of quarter of the population. All of these happenings made Emperor Shomu feel terrified that whether this all of this trouble here is the result of his lack of spirituality, and so it made him increase the rays of Buddhism, during which the temple known by the name of Todai Juas was constructed. And in this process of construction, most of the funds were raised by Kyoki, who are known as the Buddhist monk, and as soon as it got completed, Chinese monks started using it as an initiation site. Heian Period Now, moving over a while, in 784, the capital got relocated to Nagaoka-kyo. It again got moved to Heian-kyo, which is now known by the name of Kyoto, in 794, and then continued as the capital until 1868. These political powers then passed over to the Fujiwara tribe, which was a family of court nobles and had been near to the grand family for many number of centuries. And then, during the time of 858, Fujiwara no Yoshifusa got himself stated as Sesho, which in English is known as Regent, to the young emperor, i.e. his son, named as Fujiwara no Motunsunefu, 
then created an office of Kampaku, which is also known by the name of Chief Advisor, which could make it look like a place that can be considered as an adult reigning emperor. On the other hand was a Fujiwara no Michinaga that can be considered as a capable statesman who became Kampaku in the year of 996, ruled over, while there was that huge rise in Fujiwara clan's power, and also this person got four of his daughters married to Japanese rulers. This ruling by Fujiwara tribe continued to be in power until the date of 1086, when Emperor Shirakawa finally yielded all of his power and authority to his son named as Emperor Horikawa. Though after getting out of the power, he, Emperor Shirakawa, still continued to practice the political power, creating the practice of confined rule, according to which the ruling emperor would be functioning as a figurehead, and on the other hand, whole of the real power would actually be seized by a discharged predecessor from behind the stage. During this whole period, under Heian, the whole of the authority of imperial court got weakened, which made it become so much narcissistic due to all of those power struggles, and also the creative chases of court nobles, which were abandoned by the supervision of government outside the capital. The land, which was undertaken as the portion of state of Ritsurio, had its nationalization decomposed as many of those honorable families and spiritual orders got succeeded in safeguarding tax-free status for their isolated shown halls. And then, as the time passed, by the time of 11th century, more of the land in Japan was being controlled by those shown land lords and not by the central government which made imperial court to get underprivileged to bow the tax revenue which was needed to be paid for the national army there. As a result of which, the holders of the shown got their own army settled up having all those samurai soldiers. Two of those really powerful honourable families that got derived from the divisions of some royal family, named as the Taira and Minamoto tribes, managed to develop large number of armies and also many of the Shoin outside the capital. These two warrior tribes were later employed by the central government to get help in overpowering revolutions and piracy. Population in Japan at the time of Heian period got stabilized, and that too after those hundreds of years of failure. But there was still that huge growth in the new class of slaves, which included all of those poor farmers, borrowers, and criminals sold into slavery. It is also believed that during that earlier period of Heian, the imperial court became successful in combining all of its governance over those Emishi people who belonged to northern Honshu. The very first person which got affected by this and got the title Sei Tai Shogun, also known as Great Barbarian Subduing General, fixed was Otomo no Otomaro. By the time of 1051, all of those followers of the Abe tribe, who were equally responsible for occupying the key poles in regional government, were confidently challenging the central authority, and thus, as a result of which the court served a request to the tribe of Minamoto, so as to make the Abe tribe get engaged with them, whom they overpowered in the former Nine Years' War. The court then provisionally confirmed its power in the area of northern Japan. After this, as in another civil war took place, known by the name of the later Three-Year War, Fujiwara no Kiyohira took hold of the power and thus organized northern Honshu for the next period, and that too from all over their capital known as Hiraizumi. Heian Culture Now, Talking over the Heian culture, it is said that during the ruling of it is said that during the ruling of Heian, the Grand Court was considered as that energetic centre of high art and culture. Major of its fictional deeds included that collection of poetry such as Kokin Shu, the Tosa Diary, Seishonagun's Spool of Missile, and the Pillow Script and also the Murasaki Shibiku's Tale of Genji, deliberated as that ultimate masterwork of Japanese literature. Also, during this period of Heian, the expansion of the Kana-written syllabaries was part of that most common trend of deteriorating Chinese effect. 
While in the year of 630, there was also that huge beginning of the Japanese tasks to Tang Dynasty of China, which then came to an end during 9th century, which led to the development of typical forms of art and poetry from Japan. Also, along with all this, the most giant achievement in terms of architecture was the temple of Byodo that was built in 1053 in Uji. Chapter 2 What was medieval Japan like? Moving over from classical and ancient Japan, this is the perfect time to look for the time when Japan actually entered that medieval period of history. Japan was still into that influence of different rulers which made the country develop as the way they really wanted it to, including also the ones described below. Kamakura period Minamoto no Yoritomo was the emperor who over the association of power decided to rule in association with the imperial court in Kyoto. However, Yoritomo was the one who got his government settled up in Kamakura, in the region of Kanto, situated at the east direction of Japan, but its authority was still officially authorized by the imperial court in Kyoto in many number of occasions. Moving along, in the year of 1192, approbations were being declared for Yoritomosei Tai Shogun, eastern barbarian subduing great general, by the ruler there. And then later on, during that Edo period, the word Bakufu, which is originally considered as a general's house or office, accurately a tent office, developed to be used to mean an administration which was at whole controlled by a shogun. Though it was an imperial court who conferred legality to the shogunate, but they were still one of those actual rulers of that country. There were many of those religion and administrative functions maintained by imperial court, but it was always the shogunate who welcomed many of those people to participate in the same. In mid of all these, there were many of those older organizations who continued to be unbroken in even their weakest of form, and similar to that was the Kyoto, which remained as still being the authorized capital. Muromachi period after some time, that restoration of Emperor Go-Daigo, which was basically an effort to control whole of the power within imperial court, made Takauji and many other samurai get disappointed. And the main reason which made Takauji protest against Go-Daigo was the rejection of appointing him as shogun, the emperor. Moving along, in the year of 1338, Takauji finally seized Kyoto and brought one opposing member of the majestic family to the power, named as ruler Komiyo, who in future appointed him as shogun. After seeing all this happening, Go Daigo retorted by escaping to some place in Yoshino, where he worked upon to set up an opposing government, and this was the government which accompanied in a sustained period of struggle amid northern and the southern court. Following this, within some amount of time, it was Takauji who succeeded in finally settling up his empire in the Muromachi region of Kyoto, though there were those numbers of challenges that they got to face while doing this such and struggling with the southern court, and also preserving its authority over its own outranked governors. And then, as same as Kamakura Shogunate, Muromachi Shogunate also decided to select the partners which can help him in ruling the countryside. But later on, these people shaped themselves as medieval lords, which are known as daimyos of their very own domains, that made them to refuse to function as per the shogun says. Also, the most well-known emperor who made whole of the country come together was Ashikaga Yoshimitsu, the grandson of Takauji, who happened to come in power in the year of 1368 and made all this empire work better until the day of his death, which is 1408. In mid of all this, while Yoshimitsu grandson was handling whole of the empire for real better, in 1392 he decided to enlarge the authority of the shogunate so as to bring those northern and southern courts together and thus take civil war towards the end. 
Now, as that last era of Ashikaga ruling was approaching by, the whole of the country got dropped into another one, which is actually considered as that fiercer era of civil war. This actually got a start during the date of 1467, when Onin War broke out over to decide on who would be successful for getting a chance to rule Shogun, in which Daimyos decided to take a part, and thus brought Kyoto to the ground so as to make their favourite candidate win the same. And then, in 1477, Shogun finally got hold of the power and authority lost to the daimyo, which made them rule over those hundreds of self-governing states all over the Japan. And while all this was happening, daimyos also happened to fight among themselves so as to have that control over the country. There were some of those most dominant daimyos that time, who were named as Wesugi Kenshin, Takeda Shingen, and Dei Masamune. And while this era was in action, they had those different symbols describing their empire, including the ninja, expert spies, and murderers, which were appointed by the daimyos. Many of those historical facts are being related to the private lifestyles of the ninja, who actually got developed as a subject of interest for many legends. And as similar to the daimyos, there were also those stubborn farmers and warrior monks united with Buddhist temples who got their armies raised later on. Azuchi Momoyama Period It was around the second half of 16th century when Japan progressively got reunited under two of the most powerful commanders, named as Oda Nobunaga and Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Looking over for the name of period, it was actually derived from Nobunaga's and Hideyoshi's headquarters castles, which were named as Azuchi and Momoyama. Nobunaga was actually known as the daimyo of that small region of Owari. His existence was actually that that can be considered as a surprise, as it was about 1560 when it was his army who overpowered many of the forces, and that too several numbers of times in the fight of Okehazama. Also, he was well known for the leadership skills of his, which were filled up with strategy and his cruelty. He was actually the person who made hatred get provoked up among Christianity against the ones in Buddhist community and also made them build strong relationship with European arms traders. Also, he got his armies learned some really advanced tactics and thus got them armed with muskets. While promoting over that, he never looked over for someone's social status and which got his labourer servant, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, a chance to become his best general. It was in 1568 when this period of Azuchi Momoyama actually came into existence soon after Kyoto was grasped by Nobunaga, which brought an end to the Ashigaka shogunate. Now he was on that path of making whole of the Japan get reunited, but in 1582, he got killed by one of his own officers, named as Akechi Mitsuhide, who murdered him during an unexpected attack on his camp. Though after even killing Nobunga, it was not that easy to get a rise up as soon after his death came, Hideyoshi, who developed as the successor of Nobunaga. Now, it was Hideyoshi who accomplished that task of making Japan get reunited by winning Shikoku, Kyushu and the lands of the Hojo family in that east direction of Japan. Also, along with this, he made some extensive changes to the society of Japanese, which included the removal of swords from peasantry, and also there were some new limitations dropped over on the daimyos, harassments of Christians, a whole complete land survey, and many more. During the land survey, Hideyoshi marked all of those people who were cultivating the land as commoners, which lately proved out to be really effective to those who were living there as slaves, as it was the time for their freedom. Chapter 3 Welcome to Modern Japan Now, as you already are aware of the happenings which made Japan getting over those ancient and medieval periods, and now it is about looking up from modern period to the time people are now living in. Edo Period 
Now this was the period which was actually considered as the period with relative peace and strength, all in control of Tokugawa Empire, and was ruled from that eastern part of the city of Edo, which is now known by the name of Tokyo. It was about the year 1603 when ruler Go Yosei decided to declare Tokugawa Ieyasu as a ruler who resigned after those two years of service and then decided to conduct his son as the second ruler so as to make the empire go long and long. It took really long for Tokugawas to make their rule permanent either. Moving along, in the year of 1609, the ruler of Satsuma Domain was permitted by Shogun to attack the Ryukyu Empire for whole of the insult that was being observed towards the Shogunate. There were those many of the rules broadcasted for the military houses by Shogunate, according to which there was not that tighter of the controls executed over the daimyo's community, and also, along with that, there was that alternate attendance method, which made it mandatory for each of the daimyo to spend each and every year in Edo. And even with that rule being conducted in there, daimyos continued and always managed to preserve that important amount of independence in their areas. Now, the government of rulers in Edo, which was in so much short span of time, the most crowded city in the world, decided to take an advice from some senior consultants, which were also known as roju, as a result of which they made a decision of higher samurai as administrators. And on the other side, the ruler in Kyoto was in much excessive rate, subsidized by the government, but with not any kind of political power. Meiji period. As now the ruling in Edo period came to an end, it was a time to get the emperor re-established to that one insignificant supreme power, which made whole of the supreme family to get relocated in Edo, which was renamed as Tokyo, the eastern capital, during the year of 1869. Apart from the ruler, it was earlier samurai from Choshu and Satsuma who were considered as the most well-known and powerful men in there at that time. Also, these were the men considered as Meiji oligarchs who superintended those whole of the changes that Japan was going to experience during that period and ruling. Many of those leaders from Meiji government, who are also considered as some of those most effective statesmen in the history of government and leadership, named as Okubo Toshimichi and Saigo Takamori, who belonged to Satsuma, and on the other hand were Kido Takayoshi, Ito Hirobumi and Yamagata Arutomohu belonged to Choshu. They prefer Japan to become that modern state of nation which can make it capable of standing on that equal position as Western imperialist authorities. Taisho period Now, this was Tiasho, the ruler whose rule made and saw Japan getting developed into an amazing international authority, having so many number of those democratic institutions. This ruling by Taisho made many of those gates get opened to bulk of those protests and disturbances that were planned by the political parties of Japan. And whole of this activity made Japan to finally get success in convincing Katsura Taro to put up a resignation as a prime minister. Now, it was this war and the riots of rice from 1918 which led to the improvement in the authority of those political parties in Japan over many of those ruling authorities. As the Taisho democracy approached towards an end, it was Seiyukai and Min Seito gatherings who took their step forward to control politics in there. However, while all this was happening, there was that huge rise noticed in the economy of Japan, which was actually the result of Japan's involvement in World War I, and thus also made them earn new societies in the South Pacific detained from the part of Germany. Showa period Ruling of Hirohito is considered as one of the longest reign in Japanese history which lasted from 1926 to 1989, among which the very first 20 years were categorized by the growth of whole of the independence and also following with a sequence of expansionist wars. 
As Japan got to suffer a downfall in World War II, it was soon ruled and controlled by the foreign powers, which was that very first experience in the history of their ruling, after which it turned out to with the greatest world economic power. There was that great fall-down experienced by the left-wing collection as Taisho period got to approach towards an end, and it made those in right-wing collections get encouraged by dictatorship and Japanese nationalism, making it to experience that great rise in popularity. Following this, while the Manchurian incident was seen in headlines during the year of 1931, a small area of South Manchuria Railroad got to suffer a bomb attack from radical army officers.